Do you see anything weird in this picture? If yes, then you are a real Skibidi investigator. But if you didn't find anything, don't worry. Because in this video, I will tell you everything about Skibidi Toilet Multiverse Episode 22 and about what is on this picture. So watch this video till the end to not miss the most epic episodes of all time. Hello everyone, Elite Upgraded Clockwoman here. Subscribe and like the video to help me marry Elite Clockman and let's go. The episode starts with the headquarters of Skibidi Toilets. They have here computers and the button in the middle. We also have on the right a table with some keys. And also, we can see the chair upside down, which means that one who sit there was in a hurry. And now we can see a battlefield. We can see a lot of cameraman and skibidi toilets. They are fighting with each other, and we can see Speakerman running somewhere, and now we can see that button again. I guess it's where Speakerman is running, and this button is very important. So watch till the end to know why. And they show again a battlefield, and we can see a skibidi toilet with two miniguns and military helmet, and we can see how cameraman dies, and skibidi toilet blowing smoke from rocket launchers, and we can see explosion, and all places actually in fire. We can see how a cameraman tries to run away, and Dom Studio wants to show that Alliance is actually losing. And we can see this base from the distance. They are right now in some desert, and this base is actually big. No wonder that Alliance find this base so fast after they found Secret Lab 3. And then we can see the whole battlefield. We can see cameraman holding his head with his hands, and he is scared. And we can see how the tower collapsed, and we can see a lot of flying skibidi toilets. And I don't know if you watch closely in this scene. I've noticed that when Dom Studio do these big scenes with lots of action, there are a lot of funny moments. Like you can see, there's cameraman with gun that goes, and then he falls down. We can also see a green skibidi flag, and also a sign, skibidi base 2. And then a flying skibidi toilet approaches. And we can also see a speaker man. He hits him, and then skibidi toilet falls down, and then explodes, and I'm not sure that speaker man is alive, but... Povey cameraman falls down for some reason. Maybe he's tired. And then we can see a flying Skibidi toilet with headphones. He actually reminds me of Skibidi toilet that was in original series. And that Skibidi toilet is launch a rocket at the Alliance tank. But that is not the end. We can see a speaker. And that speaker actually reminds of speaker that big speaker man have. Wait, so is he dead? I hope not. And then something goes through POV cameraman. And that is actually a tentacle of Skibidi toilet. And he is ready to kill us. And the strange things is that this Skibidi toilet have a white eyes, like that zombie Skibidi toilet. So Skibidi toilets produce more zombie Skibidi toilets? We already see a lot of them in previous episodes, but the ones that really died, they never come back. Like those two Skibidi toilets with mask, Titan Drill Man just destroyed them, and somebody shot that Skibidi toilet with a nail, and we can see that it is Drill Man, and he shot that Skibidi toilet right in the eye, and then it exploded. So. I guess, if you want to kill a zombie Skibidi toilets, you just have to completely destroy their body. And we can see the backup approaching, and Skibidi toilets running away. We can see a big drill helicopter shooting at Skibidi toilets, and then a drillman jumps out of a helicopter. And then he kills a lot of Skibidi toilets with his tentacles. And we actually see this exact drillman in the previous episodes. We remember that he helped Alliance to remove a parasite from Titan Cameraman and he was also in Christmas special, and we can see an assassin speakerman. And he has a problem with three Skibidi toilets, but a big drillman helps him. We also see him. He killed the parasite that was inside Titan Cameraman, and we see him in episode 13, when Alliance also attacked Secret Lab number four, and he shows thumbs up. And we can see how Drillman's race is really strong. I think they are currently in the top three for most powerful races of all. Top two is TV Man race, and top one is Clockman race. We can see how Drillman is helping Cameraman, and we can see Speakerman, and he is like, What the? And then he starts dancing. I think he is happy that Drillman is helping them. And also, we can see how Drillman is giving heart massage to Cameraman. So, wait, Cameraman actually have heart? And you'll be shocked when you find out the answer. So, watch till the end, and we can see how two Drillman punch Skibidi Toilet out of the cliff. And then we can see that Speaker Ermin, Cameraman, and Drillman run together. And we can see two Skibidi Toilets on the way and one of them is ready to stop them. But someone shot at him with nail, and then we can see that button again, and a timer. Maybe you remember in episode 21, POV cameraman gets a message on his tablet that Skibidi toilets want to nuke Alliance headquarters, and they need to attack Secret Lab 2 as soon as possible. And I guess if someone pushes that button, then Skibidi toilets can't nuke Alliance headquarters, and they almost get it. But then a big smoke appears. Maybe this is Titan TV man, but no. This is actually a big Skibidi toilet with a creepy face. It also has strange white eyes, and it starts sucking up all enemies. Speakerman manages to grab the beam, 
But unfortunately, others are not so lucky. And this skibidi toilet also starts picking up cameraman from the ground with its tentacles, and he puts them in him. And if I understand correctly, if there are enough of them, he just squeezes them, a very creepy skibidi toilet, and he continues to suck them in. Speakerman can't hold it anymore, and he gets sucked in. But someone catches him, and even Skybitty Toilet is shocked. And yes, this is Titan Speakerman. Finally! But he is without his armor. My guess is that is because the cameraman who is repairing him did not have time to fully repair him. And we can even see that cameraman on his shoulder. And Titan Speakerman is ready to shoot that Skibidi Toilet. But something wrong with his blaster. Even Skibidi Toilet has turned his head down. And then Speakerman has turned his head to cameraman. And he like, ask him why my blaster don't work. And he is. I don't know. And then he drops Speakerman down. And he starts punching Skibidi Toilet. And he pushes his blaster in his throat. And it's kind of sus. Then he uses his speakers to kill him. But then something red is glowing in that Skibidi Toilet. And that's actually a bomb. It explodes and Titan Speakerman falls down. And not only that, all the Skibidi toilets that Alliance defeats, they all explode. So this was a trap all along. We remember that this is not the first time they do this, when Titan Cameraman and Speakerman defeated Scientist. They also tried to explode them with Skibidi toilets with bombs. And we can see Speakerman. That almost got blown up too. But time stops. And we can see Clockwoman. And we can see that Titan Speakerman with Cameraman is fine. And they found something. They found the hatch, and that hatch opens, and we can see a big rocket. And this is where they want to fire missiles at the Alliance headquarters. We can also see a timer. It's one minute left. And Clockwoman with Speaker Man are standing. They don't know how to get through because there is Skibidi toilets blocking the way. And we can see that Cameraman is in danger. This two Skibidi toilets has attacked him with TV? Maybe they want to hypnotize him. And Camera Woman pulls out her gun. She stops time, and then she holds some orange orb on her hands, and she placed this orb inside this cameraman, and we can see a cameraman heart. So they really have hearts. I mean, I have a heart too, but Elite Clockman steals it from me. And we can see that something is happening. Then this cameraman is standing up, and he starts running super fast, like a flash. And I don't even know that Clockwoman can do that. Can she do that with Titans? I'm not sure because I think Titans don't have hearts, but they have cores, and that's their hearts and he go through all Skibidi toilets to finally reach that button, and he manages to get here. But he can't push that button because of the hologram shield that covers that button, and timer is out. And we can see how Rocket is starting to fly. That's it. Alliance can't really stop that. And we can see how Speaker Man tries to push that rocket back. And we can see something strange, something very similar on the ground. And we can see that even Titan Speaker Man can't do anything. And we can see that Skibidi toilet with saw attacks cameraman. And we can see that someone actually made it inside that button, but who can it be? And he pushes that button. We can see that cameraman is shocked, even Skibidi Toilet. That ready to kill that cameraman is shocked too. And missile goes down. So that means that's it. And we can see a drill man. We actually know that drill man. Cameraman remembers something and is showing the beginning of episode 10. And yeah, that's the exact same drill man with little drill or whatever that is. And he actually digs down, and Pub Cameraman is like, seriously? Mmm. But we can see that 12 episodes later, we see him here. I know you all laughed at him in episode 10, but now you see the hero that saved the Alliance base. This man deserves a medal for that, and we can see that he keeps digging down. I guess he can't get out of here, so he really has to dig down. But that Skibidi Toilet is ready to kill POV Cameraman. But time stopped, and we can see that the Clock Woman saved him. But then the scene changes. And we can see a Titan Drill Man on the tablet. Cool wallpapers. And we can hear some similar voice. And it's actually a queen's voice. Beast. I think I just found my favorite toy. I don't know what she means about the toy. Maybe she can control it somehow. I actually think she can work with Elite Clockman. You know that Elite Clockman is a traitor, and he can tell her some important information about Alliance. Then we can see a Skibidi toilet walking to the queen. And he said that they lost the battle. But the Queen said that, Don't worry. I expected your failure. Our achievement in this battle was taking control over their devices. <laughs> now they believe the emergency message was sent from an ally. This will make it much easier for the next step. And the episode ends, so what does that mean? Do they actually want to distract the Alliance to make a next move? And the message that Povey, Cameraman, and others received is actually fake? I don't know what it means about the next step. Maybe attacking their bases, or something else, maybe, you know, write in the comments. 
And that's all for secrets. Maybe I missed something, write in the comments. And if you have your theories, write them in the comments too. I'm very interested to read. Subscribe and leave a like. Bye.